Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season four, episode nine of Korra, Beyond the Wilds. We are reaching the last five episodes of the Avatar universe so far. There's going to be more How coming out How exciting is soon. that? For now, moving forward, this is going to be our last Thursday premiere of Korra. The rest of them are going to be on Sundays. We're going to be premiering one of our new five series, the pilot reaction, every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. First up next week is she we and the princesses of power very excited to watch that so many people have said that it's right up our alley yeah everybody's been super excited about it and y'all support on all the platforms has shown that it is the number one most exciting show that y'all <laughs> want us to watch vote down below which of these four remaining series you want to see the thursday after next and we're going to keep doing that until we get through all of them then we're going to decide which one we want to watch based on which video gets the most views which ones we find the most interesting anyway make sure to check out the patreon link in the description below if you want to see episodes early and ask us the questions after every episode. Additionally, you can give us input on really every creative decision we make. I'm always asking questions about editing choices. So if you want to be a voice inside of Let's React, join the Patreon and we'll talk directly. Also, make sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed our Korra and Avatar journey. If you've been watching weekly, make sure to subscribe to keep up with our content moving forward. All right, I'm super excited for this next episode. How are you feeling? I'm so excited. I can't believe it's almost done. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Everyone, Mom. Can we say together, please? The tour's about to begin. That's my boy, Ryu. He used to live in the basement, but then he got oh. airbending, and he's been doing he's important into an airbender. stuff all over the world. <laughs> His father and I are here visiting him, and we're just having the best time in the big city. We're so proud. Right, honey? Well, at least he has a job now. Oh, Dad, I'm, trying to work. I'm telling you, he's definition of just a, like a millennial reoccurring joke. That's so All funny. these vines were created by Unavatu when he battled giant spirit Korra for the fate of the world. Battled giant spirit Korra. Excuse me, are we in the spirit world right now? <sighs> Somewhat? No. Uh, is the spirit world in the ground below us? <clears throat> no, can I just get through my cards? Oh, honey, don't get flustered. I'm not. Uh, why is that vine coming toward us? Oh my god. All right, that, I, I don't, don't who is? On the cards. <laughs> I'm going to poke it with a stick. Um, oh, that's like the go-to. Not sure yeah. about that choice. Ah! Um, <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, Maybe they're angry that they're being cut apart by this Kubira? Yeah. All right. Well, but it can. Uh, what oh is, no! What is happening? Okay, the vines are angry. Yeah. And they're taking people. I mean, my prediction for why this is happening is we saw that Kuvira was at the spirit tree, cutting off its branches. So maybe mm -hmm. since all those vines extend throughout the world, this is like the spirit world lashing out. Oh, sweet baby. Oh my gosh. She's playing a game with Naga Earth. I would adore that. Oh, that's amazing. Everything okay? Opal's probably still no, mad about. Vera has my yeah. family, and no one seems to care but me. We all care. Well, Don't worry, we'll get Opal's the Opal's been like angry this whole season. Guys, there you are. Yeah. Rightfully I just so. A weird surge of spiritual energy coming from the spirit wilds. Yeah. Something's wrong. Oh no. Great. Not like there isn't enough going on. Yeah, for literally. Her right now. Maybe you just had some bad food for breakfast. I'm telling you, I felt it. Maybe something happened to Ryu's tour group. We should have run into them by now. Yeah, yeah. but it's Ryu. They might be at the mall for all. Cora we seems to be doing better. Cora, mm -hmm. Can't you feel how strange the energy is? No, but maybe I can get a reading. All right, this is like her new power. It's tapping in. That's very cool. Beginning of series four could never. Okay, but now she can see all of this. This is a lot like Avatar the movie, like... That's an unhappy plant. Yeah. They're literally fighting... Now they're literally yeah. fighting yeah. the tree. Exactly. What is it? Are you okay? It was Kuvira. I saw her taking vines from the swamp. It must be affecting our spirit wilds. I bet that's what yep. you were sensing, Janora. Why is she taking vines? 
Whatever the reason, I'm sure it's not good. I mean, yeah, we, definitely not. We know good. Bolin this and Barrack are coming this way. Mm -hmm. to finally take her down. I'll keep looking for Ryu and the others. So they're gonna inform them on what's going on. Mm -hmm. I say we deal with this Kuvira situation immediately. Yes, agreed. And I know just how to get rid of her. We Whoa. tell her she won an all-expense-paid vacation to a tropical island. Then when she gets there, does we he have power? It was a trap. The island's a prison. Boom, got her. We they're but they're just like, who is this kid? Badger moles. Zuko's daughter. Do we know if Kuvira has any allergies? Look, I think we all know what must be done. We take the fight to her. I don't believe attacking is the right move, since she hasn't done anything aggressive toward the United Republic. Not yet. But Kuvira can't be trusted. Man. She told yes. us that she was going to turn over power, and she didn't. I'm with Raiko. I say we go on the offensive Could her and her feelings get in the way? President Interesting. Raiko, I'm sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, Avatar Korra. Just kicking it world leader style, trying to figure out what to do about yeah, Kuvira. So... For the record, I told Raiko he should have invited you. That's what I'm wondering. Him, but not I me. cannot yeah. stand it's Raiko, not bro. We just thought perhaps we called you back into action a little too soon. Oh my god. She's doing yeah. like pretty not good. Me. Cora, we're in the middle of a meeting. <laughs> we can't have people just barge in whatever people? they want. People? That's the avatar. Oh, You're terrible at your job. Thank God. Yay! Bolin? What are you doing here? Cora smile. Gods, remove these traitors. No. no. We escaped Kubira's <laughs> army. We're hey. back on your side now. <laughs> We have top secret information for you! Yep. Well. Thank you, Raiko. First good okay, decision yeah, in the Literally. Series. Literally. And it's nothing. <laughs> it's it don't jail. Oh, exactly. Ah! I don't know how it works, but it has this... It's a super weapon. Like a regular weapon, only super. And let me guess. It has Equally informative. What? Yes, how did you know? Cora knows. I saw a vision of her it's taking spirit together. vines from the swamp. If she figures out how to harness their power, we are all doomed. She might use the weapon to attack Republic City. The only way to protect ourselves is with a preemptive strike. My airbenders won't be part of an unprovoked attack. Neither will the Fire Nation. Oh, Fire interesting. Is Kuvira is a threat to the world. She has to be stopped. Where was this Raiko when Kor was like, hey, Unalak's about to literally destroy the world. And he was like, I'm sorry, Kor. Are you but my answer is still no. Bro. Maybe he has learned from his mistakes of the past. Well, he still has that mustache, so I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Fire Nation has spent too much of its history fighting nonsense wars. There we and go. To All right. My nation into another one unless there's no other choice. That's somewhat fair. I love you that. Kuvira, okay. You'll do it without my army. Fine. I'll hold off any plans of attack. We'll go on the defensive and fortify security on the borders. Okay. That, that seems like a good plan. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait. She seems like a fantastic Please, ruler. Just, that just from that for, yeah. tiny Everything. interaction. I'm What's glad gonna... you're okay, but it's a little late for sorry. I know, oh. I know. I didn't listen to you, and I sided with Kuvira, and I helped her take over the Earth Kingdom and topple your home and get your mom captured and your brother. Oh, my and God. She's like, don't well, remind me, bro. really bad when I say it out loud like that. Big himbo oh, moment here. Pardon me, lovebirds. How are you planning on doing uncle? that? Lovebirds. Love? Privately. Lynn said, and, uh, not you, traitor. Away. But Raiko couldn't convince the other leaders to attack Kuvira. So our family... Looks like we're going to have to save yep. them ourselves. Don't you think some other people would agree This is a us? team up this I didn't whoa. expect. This sanction and dangerous mission well, into enemy territory. We can't ask duo. other people to risk their necks for our family. If we want to break them out, we'll have to do it alone. Whoa. Bolin, I'm so glad you're Wait, back. so the Bayfongs are teaming up. Me. I love that. Oh. Thanks, guys. Team Michael, Avatar. I'm so sorry about the way we left things. I'm such an idiot. He was pretty rude. You tried to warn me about Kuvira, yeah. and I ran off anyway like an idiot. You were right, and I'm just an idiot. I hope that I'll be able to earn your trust again. If anyone has lost people's trust, it's me. Ever since Kuvira kicked They've my all butt, struggled. no one even wants me around. We want you around. And Bolin, you're not an idiot. You were just doing what you thought was right. Oh, and Kuvira's, like, 
And I really want to hug you. She's again. like a powerful force. If you're, oh, they're uh-huh. back. So powerful, and somebody like Bolin can be easily manipulated. One hundred. That's yeah. That's what I meant. Like she's yeah. not the kind of person that it's easy to contradict. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, which for someone who's like a sweet person, um, very scary. Glad she's an Airbender. Yeah, it, she's a master Airbender. Look right. At her go. Okay. It's gonna grab her foot or something though. I don't like that. Oh. All right. Why are the vines going after? people that are trying to save them. Maybe they're trying to pull them and put them near the tree to help. Hmm. Maybe they're like, we need help. I'm not sure, though. But it took all those randos from the tour. Oh, that's true. Oh, that power is so useful. Yeah, literally. (laughs) Can you imagine you're just standing there all of a sudden holograph? Hologram. Oh, my gosh. Cancel all tours. Somebody get a hold of Tenzin. All right, Lynn. Back in business. You can't leave Janora. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what, like, what a do perimeter do is going to do against yeah. angry plants. Janora! Hello, anyone? Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> I don't like how it's squelching. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't think so. So this is definitely all caused by Kubira, but why is it trying to grab people in Republic City? Cora, look. What are those? Um, are they? That's disgusting. Cocoons? What those are people in I... there. Oh. oh, this is this is a twist I did not see. What? The plant is putting them in little. Oh, they're putting their spirits in the spirit. You'll provoke the vines. Let me try. Oh yeah, she's gonna use this spirit healing technique. Okay. Oh, that's what is the plant gaining from this? Well, maybe it's gonna like undo the spiritual sort of like chaos energy going on. They won't Hmm. open. Oh. Maybe if I meditate into the spirit world, I can free them. All right. The animation's kind of gorgeous this episode. Oh, yeah. Gotta say. Wait, this is where she battles it here. Wait. The rocky landscape. This isn't the spirit world. Oh. What's going on? What? Oh, no. Shit. No. Um, what? Oh. What is happening? Damn it, and she was just doing Wait, better. this has to be a vision. Because he's airbending. You can't bend in the spirit realm. You can't fight me and the poison. No, I got it out. You'll never get it Oh, out. it's another... It's a flashback? No, it's another, like, vision. The, like, post-traumatic stress vision. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not a flashback. It didn't happen. Oh, Gosh, shit. Damn she hasn't tried to go in the spirit realm in a while. Uh, what are you talking about? He's been oh, haunting me baby. ever since I fought him. I can't get any peace. Yeah. Like he's blocking me from meditating into the spirit world. Wait. No matter where you place the here, he can go to the spirit realm. What's the point of putting someone who can just easily transition between yeah. worlds like that in a prison? It's like just an iteration of their form, yeah. right? That's not jail. I want to face the here. Cora, he's too dangerous. Oh. Even when he's locked up, he can't be trusted. Where I is need he? to if I want to save Janora and the others. There's no other way. There is another way. I'm calling your father. He can lead an expedition into the spirit world from the southern portal. You've lost oh. faith in me too, haven't you? No one thinks I'm capable of anything anymore. It's not that at all. I know I can do this. I'm just so worried for Janora. I can't imagine if something happened to you too. Tenzin, please. I'll be okay. You can't play it like that, Tenzin. Yeah. Zahir's in prison deep in the mountains outside the city. I'll call oh. Raiko and get the clearance. Thank Interesting. Okay, so we're going to see Zahir. If Raiko messes this up one more oh, time. Where are you? <gasps> oh. Pabu! Yay! Yay! Incredible. Oh, I missed you so much. So, I don't know if you've heard, but Opal's kind of mad at me. I was hoping... <laughs> I did hey, bestie. Of kind of a villain now. <laughs> awesome. Yes, I have an idea.
This Hello, is how to make Bobby. a girl fall back in yep. love with you. Well, it's good to see you too. What do you got there? A, note. a little note. Oh, Bolin's gonna go romantic. <gasps> oh no. Oh, Bull, you made it. I gotta What's like. This? I like the new okay, fit of yeah, Bolin. Two of us. Well, three of us. Sorry, pause. So this note Pabu brought me saying you broke both of your legs was just a ruse? Maybe. But now that you're here, you just sit back, relax, try some of my homemade steam buns, Pema's recipe, and watch Pabu do some of his world-famous backflips for entertainment. Ha ha! Oh, steam buns. My oh. favorite. This will totally make me forget um. you worked for Kuvira, the person who captured my family and is probably torturing them right now. So yeah, let's just sit down and have a great picnic because we're so in love. I'm sorry you had to see that, Pabu. Out of all of the scary moments in this show, that might be the actual scariest thing. For you. That's just real life. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. The energy that was struck there, I was like, oh, I know this. This was like when I left the car door open all night. It was just open. I, I there just, was so much stuff in there. I literally, we literally had just gotten back from graduation. I cleaned out some stuff. I just left the door open and Montana was like, hey, the door was left open. And just I was like, open. Just outside. Yeah, was, do you think Bolin has a chance at getting back with Opal? I think their relationship is not going to be able to go anywhere until her family is safe. So maybe Bolin plays an integral, integral, integral. Maybe Bolin plays an integral role in um, freeing her family. It's nice to be welcomed back with open arms. <laughs> Actually, I brought you here out of necessity. It's no secret I never liked you, especially after you tried to have me kidnapped. Allegedly. <laughs> That'll do it. Right. Yeah, for real. Everything you do is allegedly. No one likes you, you, bud. you took over my company and bombed the Southern Water Tribe Cultural <laughs> yeah. Center? I own yes. that building. A man has the right to blow up his own property. <laughs> right now, I need you to put aside your differences. If Kuvira really is creating a super weapon, we're going to need the two brightest minds in the city working together to stop it. All what do right. you say, Asami? Partners again? Fine. Queen. I'll help. But don't even think about double-crossing me again. Ow. Without Julie to help, he can be just putting a pretzel by yeah. Asami. <laughs> okay, so this is where Zaheer is. Interesting. Oh boy. Very big doors. I'm telling you, the animation's gorgeous. Are the core sure looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think if I see okay. here chained up, I'll finally realize that he's not a threat anymore. What do you think? Interesting. About that? I mean, yeah, that from like, a mental health perspective. Yeah, I mean the practice of deliberately exposing yourself to like an irrational fear can That's a help. Great idea. But it's not irrational for her, is the If thing. he's chained down, it is a little bit. But he can go into the spirit world, right? That's so that true. doesn't, like, disable... No. Not, uh, I need to do this alone. Okay. Like, that doesn't take him out the way... She's gonna do something, though. Maybe she can take his bending, honestly. I wonder if she... Why didn't they do that? Oh, she doesn't have Aang anymore. She'd have to figure it out What if she just kills him? Well... All right, bestie. Oh boy. This is an interesting kind oh, of. And he's still floating. Mm-hmm. So, you must really be in trouble if you came all the way down here to see me. I came here to look you in the eye and tell you that you have no power over me. I will no longer be scared of you. Okay. All right. What the fuck? He can still fly. <laughs> I didn't like that at didn't work. Oh. That was a creepy face. <laughs> this was a mistake. I know why you're here. You don't know anything about me. You can't go into the spirit world. How? I spend most of my time in the spirit world, and it's well known that the Avatar spirit hasn't been there for a few years. You can meditate into the spirit world oh. from here? She hasn't been there. Doesn't feel very long. spiritually charged. This is your problem. Republic City is flowing with spiritual energy, and you can't even tap into it. No, my problem is you. You poisoned me. You ruined me. People used to oh. think I was unstoppable, but now they don't think I'm capable of anything. Blaming me is a crutch to make you feel better. 
but it's not helping you recover. I thought seeing you face to face would put an end to all of this. But maybe it's time I realize I'll never be the same. Neither of us are the same as before. I learned to fly, but now I'm bound in chains. You have all the power in the world and the freedom to use it, but you choose to hold yourself down. I'm not holding myself down, but my powers have limits. You're wrong. That poison should have killed you, but you were able to fight it off. Mm -hmm. You think your power has limits. I say it's limitless. Whatever. Before, you were always talking about chaos oh, wow. and freedom. Then you took out the Earth Queen and created the worst dictator the Earth Kingdom has ever seen. Thanks for that. <laughs> well. I've heard rumors about her, but I didn't know she achieved so much power. She needs to be stopped. No well, way he helps. Her unless no. I get over this block. I think I can help. Let me lead you into the spirit world. No way. Why would he do that? From an objective perspective, Zaheer was never evil. He did not huh. do bad things for bad things sake or power grabbing. He was like, this is the way things must be. So now that he's chained up and he can't do that, he's like, well, I do still want balance in the Why world. Why not? He would hate a dictator. He's an anarchist. It's mm -hmm. the exact opposite. So they have a mutual- The only thing worse than the avatar is Kuvir. <laughs> yeah, literally. So he's about to help her. I wonder if he has a scheme in mind, but I don't hmm. see what you can do when you're chained up, so. I can't trust you. Maybe not. Like that. If you had any other hmm. options, you wouldn't be here now, would you? We may also not true. Us, but for now, our interests align. Yeah, see, they're gonna mm -hmm. team up. <laughs> I've come this far. What have I got to lose? That's fair. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Focus on the sound of my voice and clear your mind. Okay. Interesting. So she's going back into that out. sort of flashback. Thing. I can't. You can't. He's gonna help her Except heal. What to you. Don't fear what might have been. I have no wow. control. Don't be afraid. Hold on. She's entering in. Wow. Okay. I made it. And you led me here. Do you know where Janora and the others are? No, but you do. She can go to the tree thing. Yeah. We're just. Oh so shit! Rava. Rava's back. That was. Rava, I missed you. Oh. oh. You I have always been inside of you. Oh. Can you help me find Janora? That's sweet. Amazing. Oh yeah. Wow. So Zaheer helped her heal. What a full circle moment. Hmm. So what is happening? That's interesting. You must bend the energy within. But I'm powerless in the spirit world. No, you're most powerful here. In the spirit world, you're connected to all the spiritual energy. And she can tap into that oh now? Oh my gosh. Well, she's been more spiritual this season with the mm -hmm. divine energy. <gasps> wow. What is this? Oh is this a new gosh. ability? It looks like it, right? Because the oh avatar state in the spirit. Goodness. Wow. That's beautiful. That is incredible. So now they'll go back to their bodies. Why were they being taken in the first <laughs> when place? They're floating up. Does make yeah. it look like they just died? Yeah, literally. They just reverse died, basically. So now they're in goop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I feel all spirity. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dad! I'm so glad you're safe. What happened? How did you get out? Tenzin's progressed a lot. Yeah. Like, about being less hands-on. Mm-hmm. So, or, like, less helicopter with his kids. Exactly. I feel whole again. I feel good. Huh. So you think you're finally able to forget about what Zaheer did to you? Had to confront no. it. But I am finally able to accept what happened, and I think that's going to make me stronger. Yes. Interesting. Okay. We love that. Okay, so the Where two Beifongs going? are going after their family. We've got some family business to take care of. All right, listen, before you go, I just want to tell you that I understand how you feel. I know there's nothing I could do or no big gesture that can make up for all my mistakes, but 
That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop trying to win you back. Because... I love you. Thanks for saying all of that. You know, there is one thing you could do to win me back. What Help? is it? Yes, I'll do Probably. anything. <laughs> Come on a secret mission with us. What is Where to? wrong with the Zalfin. bison? We're going Snot. to rescue my family. Okay, he's gonna help. Wonderful. Okay, great. Great! And I'm okay with that. Like, he can mess up, but if you work to fix the mess up, that, you that, can't really- it, It's like, literally the- like, when she said it's the one thing you can do, it's pretty, like, it literally, on the nose of how to fix your problem. Exactly. Can we talk about how this next episode's called Operation Bayfong? That's sick. My question is, is, it, does, is Toph involved? Probably not, but No, but it's I the wish. other Bayfongs. But like, the thing I'm thinking about is that spirit tree is being attacked. She's feeling that. Hmm. Something's gotta Interesting. happen. Interesting. That was a great episode. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below to keep up with our core journey. Our next episode will be this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the next Thursday will be Shira and the Princesses of Power yes. Episode 1 Reaction. Get excited for that. Before we discuss this episode further, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. All right, thank you for watching that episode. Make sure to subscribe down below for reaction content coming every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our next episode of Korra will be this Sunday. If you want to see that episode early and all of our content early, check out the Patreon link in the description below to both see episodes early and ask us the questions we're right about to answer. For now, let's get to question one. Noah Olasahinde asks, do you think the discussion from the Fire Lord is fair? Is her decision justified considering the Fire Nation history? Very good question. I think it definitely is. I think it's very important and says a lot about this new Fire Lord. We haven't seen a lot of her, like, her specific leadership skills, mm -hmm. but... That was like it, her first line, she said. Exactly, but it definitely bodes well that she's considering the fact that the Fire Nation in their history have been too violent mm -hmm. and have just engaged in battles for no reason to yeah. the fact that she's really taking her time and thinking about it before doing anything. It's a really great idea. I think really good for her. Yeah, the caution um, and, is a good idea. And just like better for the Fire Nation in general and also for them working together. And the fact that the Fire Nation and the Air Nomads are together, not against, but like voting against Republic City. And that was just fine. Huh. Like that. I hadn't thought about it that way. I thought that was a really big moment. Yeah. Like, and just kind of shows how far the nations and their like governing have come since Avatar. I really have nothing to add. I just think that caution from the Fire Nation's perspective is a great idea because like we learned that the element of fire itself lends itself to destruction if you let. So mm -hmm. you have to actively hold yourself back. And I think that's what she's doing. And I thought that was a great idea. Mm. All right. Spoon Dog asks, what are your thoughts on the surprise guest helping Korra? Do you think he deserved a redemption arc? Okay, great question. I'm going to take issue with one thing, which is Not I don't think that was a redemption arc. arc. Mm -hmm. The question says, do you think he deserved a redemption arc? Um, Are you implying he didn't have that he one. got one? He didn't have one, so no. Do you think he deserves one? Also no. But I think he can play a positive role. Redemption arc implies you become a good person. I think a bad person can do a good thing in the story. And I think really the only way that Korra was going to heal fully is by confronting him. And not only did she confront him, but he helped her. So I think even that one moment is going to, every time she has a flashback about Zaheer, she's going to be like, he helped me that one time. I think it's going to do wonders for her mental health. I think it might have been sort of the last splinter pulling out, you know? I think it's really interesting that Zaheer's like noble thing was kind of a like whatever for him. Yeah. Like it I feel like it wasn't really redemption because it wasn't really a big deal. It it's definitely kind of wasn't like, redemption. It was it, just a good act. But I don't even I don't even think that showing her how to get to the spirit realm, great. Like if it's your mistake, just because you fix it, that doesn't make you like a good person. Brianne McDonough asks, what do you think about how Kuvira is treating the spirit swamp? I think it's so disrespectful yeah. and a really apt metaphor for how people treat nature yep. as a whole, especially in the way that like this, the spirit vines are alive and feeling and connected and yeah. communicating with everything in the world. And she's treating it like a commodity to be 
harvested and used for people. So, I mean, that's like hard to watch, but it's also very cool to see a show where like I know, the, fights I know the vines are gonna get their day i you wish know? that could happen in real life i wish like these Literally, like, like, well i mean like if somebody's fracking a mountain i wish the mountain could just like grow a fist and punch the rig off the mountain you okay know? i totally agree with you there's this really funny or not i guess it's not funny it's more of just a statement i don't know why i said it was funny but just this idea that like we're destroying nature is like no we're destroying us like yeah nature is gonna be here and nature is gonna be fine and as soon as we're done yep she's gonna recover and be completely fine yeah. like yeah don't love the way that she's treating the swamp no. i'm ex- interested to see what the swamp was trying to do with those bodies like because why was it snatching them and taking their spirits in the spirit realm like I don't, I, i'm want just a little with confused the bodies, on that but I, I don't think we have the answers yet mm-hmm. but we're gonna see but i think that's about it for this episode make sure to uh like and subscribe down below for uh core reaction content coming this sunday 12 p.m eastern standard time and a whole swath of new series coming swath. very soon our first episode of the new series, she and the Princesses of Power, will come out next Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be on the lookout for that. Also, check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see episodes early and ask us the questions we just answered. All right, uh, I'm super excited for next episode. How are you feeling? Super excited. I think it's going to be great. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.